Okay, so I've got it in perspective view, which gives it the more traditional sat nav view. As opposed to a top down view. Nice Mustang. Is it a real one? Oh, it is. Oh, nice. Hope you pick that up. Ooh. So I don't really notice it's a little bit off centre. I had a look to see whether you could move the GPS prep slightly that way. Uh, and you can, not by much, I'd say about, about 10 mil. But then when you put the Nav 6 on, that wouldn't line up centre. So I'm quite happy to leave it as it is. I haven't got a friend's phone to borrow to see what a smaller phone would look like. If I do manage to get one, I'll uh, stick it in the link or on the video or do another quick little video just to show what a smaller phone would look like. But in terms of size of display, the bigger the phone, obviously, uh, the better. One thing that I have noticed, top left hand corner is a, uh, obviously, speed. Like, we're doing 29 mile, hour, well, not 29 mile, hour, we're in the 30 zone. But for some reason, they're saying it's a 29. Which is odd. But I suppose the beauty with this device is that because it's an app, any issues that BMW get, you can just literally up update it. And as it's quite new, there'll be some issues, no doubt. So back up to nav setting. Uh, if I scroll down to bike info, I get my tyre pressures, 2.4, 2.9, how much fuel I've got left, distance on that fuel, how many uh, litres per 100k I'm doing, temperature of the bike, etc. If I click right again, uh, I get more details, or it's bigger, yeah it's bigger. Uh, so that's like a sub menu, that's the main menu scroll down I get like a sports setting no speed just deceleration G on the left acceleration G on the right and then bank angle in degrees left and right so just a, a little gimmicky feature which I don't know some people will love which is the actual connectivity hub it just tells me that it's charging is on and the cradle is connected so go back up to maps so if I leave it in the, the subheading I still have the map working in the background which I can see in perspective view but if I further click right it obviously takes up the whole screen uh, if you notice I do get the notifications that not notifications but like Google Maps so back here it's a red traffic's heavy up ahead is amber and then I take it as no need for green just any other condition will show up what I don't get compared to the Nav 6 is um, any notifications for congestion like the nav 6 will say up ahead in a mile uh, especially if you're linked in with smart link it will say you know um, congestion up ahead and you can reroute it which is pretty good gives uh, speed camera information something that I haven't got at the moment and I've gone through several speed cameras and none of them have 
been uh, marked on on this display or give me any notification. Well, it does show the roadworks, so if we're zooming closer, it does show that, oh, two yellow cars. It does show that there's uh, road narrowing and roadworks up ahead. If I click on any of them, no, nothing comes up. In actual fact, see if I can do it by your voice now. Pond to clean. So function only available will stop. So you can only do it when you are stationary. I shall do the route. So enter address. This are, these aren't capacitive gloves. So calculating route. Okay, I can't go right because of obviously no right turn and there's a speed camera down there. Eight miles away. Perfect. With the Nav 6 via Smart Link. There's not a function to do it on this. However, the smart uh, the, the smart link and the Nav 6, if I wanted to, going past that speed camera, I could have marked it for other people. And then it would go up, obviously, to the cloud and disseminate to all other smart link users. Uh, this hasn't got that function, or not one that I could see. So again, that's a loss. I wouldn't have come this way. Ah, maybe because I've got it on winding roads, or I've set it for give you the worst roads you can find with grit, mud, branches, and other shit on. Yeah, I think I put it on winding. So this would be the windiest way to get to Ponticlean. Oh well. The sun is pretty low. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. But the display is crystal clear. Can't fault the iPhone <laughs> display, in all fairness. At all. So zoom out to a certain level, so 0.4 mile on here, it goes to a top down view. So I can see that the road is, you know, twisty. So if I zoom back in. Now it doesn't really distract from driving or riding, whichever way you want to look at it. Okay, so now you can see we've got a junction coming up and it's saying 250 yards straight on and if you have a look at the countdown bar on the right on the on the phone and on the TFT it's giving me that countdown I can cancel that at any time and the last thing that went down these lanes was a horse and cart probably Slow down, you cunt. Fucking cunt. <sighs> That's the fucking problem with lanes. Okay, so, that was a little um, ride. 
showing the system. I'm now going to see what happens when we change it to add a waypoint. But I'm going to change the settings because I don't want to go windy road. So route options, uh, route type, um, efficient. Let's have a look at efficient. So if I enter an address, so uh, let's type in Bridgend. Bridgend. Active route guidance. New waypoint. Now see if this will work if spoken. One Parrington Villas Bridgend. Okay, that didn't work. CF thirty two nine UJ. That didn't work. CF thirty two nine UJ. One Parrington Villas, Bryn Menin, Bridgend. Okay. Number one, Perrington Villas. <laughs> Fuck my life. CF thirty two nine UJ. Ah, okay. Stored under something else, Panhero Wine. So that's given me a bit of a different route with a waypoint so yeah I can skip waypoint if I wanted to so let's see how that goes getting a bit windy now Needed a cup of tea, calm my nerves after that stupid woman. Hello. I hear you right. I'm on the bike. Alright, I'll ring you when I get home. Alright, love you right. Okay. So even on the phone I get um, navigation updates. Your entire route. Okay, yep. Yeah. Route preview. What's a hand? Manual mode. End route preview. Oh, 
Okay, so it does bring up alternative routes and it's nicely coloured as well. That's good. Repeat instructions now. I can only think with time they'll add more functional functionality to it. And more options to the app. So putting the most efficient route in instead of winding and sticking down a waypoint in it looking at the route preview it's pretty much put down the route that I wanted to take however as you can see the voice activation it isn't the greatest you know um, I know it's difficult through the centre system and especially being in Wales what the fuck um, understanding the words but yeah it took me quite a few attempts it picks it up clear clear as day but uh, yeah, it just wouldn't find the address. So the words I was saying was coming up on the sat nav, but obviously the address was not wrong. <laughs> it's my parents' address, so it should. Yeah, I'll have to have a play around with it a bit more. Whether, like the nav six, you can use base camp plot a route, so say for example I was going from here up to North Wales and I wanted to follow very particular roads the night before I could put down the route that I want to follow the route that I want to follow um, load it into the nav 6 and just follow that route this way I'd have to input each waypoint uh, individually into the, the phone do it there. There probably is a way of doing it rem remotely, but uh, I'll have to have a look. Oh, and the wind! Oh my god!
where he's going to go tonight, isn't it? Hate them. Uh, didn't want to go that way, I don't know which way that is. It is probably the most efficient route. So I want to see how quickly this adjusts to a, a wrong move. So I'm currently looking to go to Regend. So I've just gone past the turn and it wanted me to go past. Yeah, it was quite quick. And again, it wants me to go left ahead which is uh, again it's the most efficient route it's not necessarily the quickest because it's lanes again um, so I don't want to overtake here because on the right just off right up here a nice little bridge that people come out of. And then there you go. And there's a little clear section after the zigzags. But if you're quick enough, you can bounce the two cars. fastest route would be to go right instead of left here the most efficient route would be to go left here because it drops you straight down into Regend and I've gone past it again it's obviously saying turn around at the roundabout going now so I'll cancel the route guidance so we finish that route
park up here on the left and I'll stick on the Nav 6 just to show you the difference so it's a quick comparison So try and address via the voice, which is fairly easy. Enter address. Number four, Highbury Crescent, Bridgend. Okay. So it picks up the words perfectly. Four CF thirty one four RD. CF thirty one four RD. Fuck. CF thirty one four RD. Okay, so I found it on there. Right, let's uh take the phone and that off. Big old thing go in your pocket. I have six on. Locked in. Make sure Smart Link is active. New map. Back. Yeah. Okay. Let me just take my phone out as if I do this properly. Smart link, yeah, cool. Smart link is working. View map. So straight away, massive difference. Screen size and clarity. It's quite the colours are quite dull, and it's quite cluttered. Uh, trying to fit quite a lot onto the screen there. So I can see what they've done with the cradle by keeping it simple, and I do prefer it. I also can see that it's more central on the, on the bike. Which some may like. It doesn't really bother me, I didn't notice it, to be fair. I was quite happy. happy with it but it is a lot more cluttered a lot more detailed in terms of what you're shown in a small space obviously because I've got smart link 
We've got the button there for the sat nav, sat nav speed cameras. So there's a notification for speed camera up ahead, which I, I think is priceless, absolutely priceless in terms of just giving that forewarning. And I think for the cradle to be a success, BMW are going to have to update their game. Knowing BMW, it will be a, a purchase side of things, like a yearly subscription, $39.99 for sat-nav, uh, sat-nav speed camera uh, updates. If it is, well, you've effectively killed off the cradle, BMW. You're better off, literally, keeping the Nav 6, in all fairness. Yep, there you go. Lane closed on the top. So if I clicked on that, it'd give me alternative route. It's just a very basic sat nav for £184. Yeah, so I hope you've liked this uh, little real time use of the cradle. And uh, it's hope helps you make a decision whether you want to spend four or five hundred pound on an av6 or 184 pound on the cradle cradle is good but not as good as an av6 